This is Artifacts. I'm going to bring to your attention something that's extremely dangerous. Uh, they're called Beyond Diversity Resource Center. Sounds all nice and cozy until you uh, find out what they're actually about. These people are preaching hatred of white people. Uh, there's a growing movement out there which is a hate movement. Hatred of whites, especially Christian whites. And it has a nice cozy name to it. It's called White Privilege, the White Privilege Movement. Essentially they're saying that whites are and privilege themselves to do this and that, something else, and everybody else is oppressed. It's the same basic message, folks. Same message that Hitler came out with. Different situation. But it's the same identical message. These people are preaching hate. In this case, hatred of whites. Now, what is the political trick behind this? Here's where he Here's what you got to understand. This is a political trick to rally the people. Human beings seem to need something to rally them, rally after. Uh, otherwise, you get too much variance of opinion and everything else, and these people hate that. They want everybody to think alike. So the political trick that these people are pulling is they use hatred same way Nazis did to pull people together to unite them, in this case against whites. Nazis were experts at this, alright? Uh, this is a real serious, really serious mess. Nazis were experts at this. You use hate to unite people and you pick out a scapegoat. That way you make yourself look good and people don't stop noticing the problems in society because they have a scapegoat to blame. Problems are always a uh, fault of the scapegoat. It's never theirs. This is a typical political trick. What Beyond Diversity Resource Center is doing the exact same thing. They're part of this white privilege thing. They have uh, things for sale. Anti-racist cookbook, which is an anti-white thing. They have a book for sale. The Great White Elephant Workbook on Racial Privilege for White Anti-Racists. Hogwash. They're preaching ha hatred of whites. This is the same message. The Jews in Germany were blamed. They said they had all the money, they had all the power, so they were to blame for all the problems in Germany. Hogwash. There were good Jews who went to the camps or badgers that went to camps. Statistically figuring, you know, there had to be. But another thing that they have is Beyond Diversity 2, that's T-O-O. -O. Universe, understand privilege, fight, hate, wristband. The story six years in the making. I'm on the page. Says, lately the Beyond Diversity Resource Center has been receiving hate mail and threatening phone calls because of our work on privilege. It is astonishing that I wrote that an article I wrote six years ago would generate such antipathy and cause some to act out of their worst impulses of bigotry. The name on that is Robin Parr, whatever that means, whatever that means. I've already been through this uh, 
six years, we sold the workbooks and offered the article to the public all without negative comment. And then in early March, a VISTA, Volunteers of Service America program in Wisconsin, conducted diversity training program, which we are not involved in that program, and upload their website a list of resources that were offered to their participants. The previously listed schematic was at the very bottom of that list from click-through link made for easy downloading. I remember this. I did a blog uh, chat group posting on this. They were uh, openly promoting hatred of whites. And it was just disgusting. Uh, these people are the same thing as the Nazis. This is what you have to understand. They're playing the same political trick. They're using hatred of whites, and especially of white Christians, to rally the people. In Germany's case, what they did is they ra rallied the German, white Germans, because that's mostly what they had to work with, and they rallied them against the Jews. In, their ca in the case of these people, they are rallying, trying to rally all the non-whites against whites, because we're all, we're the oppressor. Same as the Jews. It's the same identical message. Different circumstance. So they're actually working with a much larger uh, base than the Nazis did. But make no mistake, these are the same exact people. Different circumstance, it's exactly the same. These are fascists, and we have got to do something. We've got to get the message out that these are a bunch of vicious racists. They are anti-white. They are anti-Christian, and they have to be exposed for what they are. And that's what I'm trying to do. And people have got to wake up, or you're going to. I don't know what the symbol they would use for uh, white Christians. Maybe just cross. I don't know. They use Star David for the Jews that they sent to the camps. Who knows? I have, I have no idea what they would use. This is beyond disgusting. Um, there's all sorts of warnings out there about Nazis. Well, these are fascists. They're not Nazis per se, but they're fascists. And they're gathering power. We've got to nip this in bud right now. Slap these people down. Expose them for what they are. Tell them, no, you're not spreading your message uh, like this, you are not going to do this. We're going to expose you, and you are going to be disbanded. That's what needs to happen, folks. You gotta wake up. Unless the idea of uh, taking a ride in a cattle car really appeals to you, which I don't think it's going to. And you non whites, you think you're safe? I got news for you. Anybody who thinks that the whites in uh, Germany were safe needs their head examined. You're not safe when scum like if scum like this get in power. You're, nobody's safe. Doesn't matter what your skin color is. I got news for you. I want our artifacts of Mars. Wake up. Wake up and. We'll, f we'll have to fight these people and keep them out of power. No matter of fact, some Mars. Thanks for watching.